Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we're going to create this energetic flames text animation from scratch. So make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and tricks. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it main comp and set its size to a 16 by 9 ratio with a duration of 5 seconds. Then press OK. Next, right click on the timeline and create a new solid layer. Call it Fire Flames. Now, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Fractal Noise. Apply it to the solid layer. Change the fractal type to turbulence smooth and noise type to block. Now go under the transform option, uncheck uniform scaling, set the scale width to 25 and the scale height to 1000. Make a keyframe on offset turbulence. Then go to the ending frame and change its y-axis value to 5000. Now, make an expression on evolution. Hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch. Then write time multiply 500. Now add another effect called tint and change its white color to light gray. Now, turn off the visibility of this layer. Then, select the text tool and write your text. I will write, Fire. Center align the text. Go under its animate property, click on Animate and select Tracking. Make a keyframe on the tracking amount. Go one second ahead and change its value to 70. Then go a few frames ahead and change it back to zero. Now, turn on the visibility of the flames layer. Select the rectangle tool for masking, then make a mask around each text by selecting the flames layer like this. Now select all the mask options in the timeline and make a keyframe on mask path. Go one second ahead and adjust the flame mask according to the text tracking amount. Use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to make adjustments. Now go one second ahead again and copy paste the first path keyframes here. Then select all keyframes, including the tracking keyframes, and easy ease them by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Adjust the graph for a smooth animation. Now, right-click on the Flames layer, go to Layer Styles, and select Stroke. Change the stroke color to white. Apply the Turbulent Displace effect to the Flames layer. Change its amount to 20 and size to 30. Now make an expression on its offset. Right, 
wiggle 10 comma 100 under parenthesis Now pre-compose this flames layer. Apply the tritone effect to the pre-composed layer. Change its highlights to light blue. Midtones to dark blue and shadows to navy blue. Duplicate the text layer. Go into the character menu and switch the fill to stroke by clicking on the arrow. Change the stroke color to blue. For the duplicate text layer, change the fill to dark blue. Now, go to the effects panel and search for glow. I will use the deep glow plugin, but you can use the default glow effect. Add an expression on the radius. Right, wiggle, 10, 50 under parenthesis. It will give us the flickering glow effect. Now, copy this glow and apply it to the stroke layer too. Adjust its exposure. I'm going to make the stroke color a little bit darker. Now drag these layers slightly ahead. Duplicate the text layer again, drag it to the beginning of the animation, and change its color back to white. Go under its properties and remove Animator 1 from it. Then click Animate and enable per character 3D. Click Animate again and select Position. Change the Z position to push the text out of the comp, hold Shift while adjusting. Now go under Range Selector 1, set the Start value to 100. Make a keyframe, then go a few frames ahead and change it to 0. Also, set the end value to zero. Easy ease the keyframes and turn on randomize order. Click animate again and select blur. Set the blur amount to 30. Then select opacity and set its value to zero. Now adjust the position of this layer. Next, we'll add a little camera shake to make it more impactful. For that, make a new adjustment layer and trim it from both sides by pressing Ctrl plus opening and closing square brackets. Apply the transform effect to this adjustment layer. 
Make keyframes on position and scale. Change the position slightly down and increase the scale. At the beginning and end, set both values back to normal. Now apply Gaussian Blur, set its value to 30, and make keyframes on it. Then easy ease those keyframes. To create an impact frame, make a new solid layer and call it background. Then make a new adjustment layer. Set its size to only a few frames. Place it over the transition point. Then apply the invert effect. This gives us the impact frame. Let's add a bit of distortion to the flame lines. Inside the flame's pre-comp, make a new adjustment layer. Apply the optics compensation effect. Set its value to 85 and check reverse lens distortion. Now let's pre-compose all the layers by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Make a keyframe on scale around the beginning of the text animation. Set its value to 130. Easy ease the keyframe and adjust the graph. And this is our final animation. You can also change the colors to make it more impactful. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps and ensures you won't miss future tutorials. You can access this project file and many others by becoming a member on my Ko-fi page. Link is in the description. Your support helps me keep creating and sharing valuable content. See you in the next tutorial.